Hello everyone. I hope all are doing great. Actually, uh, today we are going to learn how to change the background color of the report uh, based on the condition. Okay. So today I'm not going to tell you how to create a report. Okay. Already I have created a report. So I wanted to add some design to the report. So I mean today I'm not really going to add some like you know uh, all the design related part, but I will just show you how to change the background color of the report uh, I mean uh, you know based upon some conditions okay so we'll just go ahead now and first we'll add a table okay because uh, we have to write uh, some conditions right so for that we have to add first table because there are some fields that should be added here so that's the reason insert table so this is a table and you can add few fields you can add few more columns as well so let me add a uh, few fields here i wanted to take a data set too okay you can rename this data set one and data set two as well okay so um, amounts and the data is something like that item id and just taking it as a purge quantity okay so what what you can do is this is a table that you can add uh, like you can add more tables or you can remove the uh, uh, I mean uh, fields as well okay it's not like you have to uh, you know maintain these three fields okay so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to change the background color as I said right so now how to write that particular uh, you know uh, uh, code we have to check okay based on condition so take any of the field here okay take any of the field and just give, i wanted to take a field of purge quantity or you can take the field for amount as well okay so let's see purge quantity and you have to go for a text box properties okay click on text box properties so after clicking on text box property you will be able to see this window okay so again click on fill so when you click on fill, there is no color here. Fill color is no color. So now we have to set some color based on condition. So if you set in this way directly, it will take the color which is, I mean, which is adding. For example, if I take tomato color. So if I take tomato color, what will happen? Everything will be background will be able to see in a tomato color. So but I don't want everything. I want only uh, like for uh, based on one condition I need it okay so how to do this we'll just check so click on this fx fx means expression and there is a tomato as we have gave a tomato color so remove the, remove it and give a give a expression here like if fields so for, for what field that you wanted to i mean want to write if it is a amount you can just select amount directly okay i wanted to give it for a purge quantity right so select purge quantity dot value you have other things as well font weight missing key level number and all so select value if it is greater than zero if it is greater than zero what should happen here if it is greater than zero i need to get red color okay i need to get red color if it is i mean if it is not greater than zero i have to get blue color okay so this is the this is the expression that i wanted to write go here so this is the expression that i have written means what i written if the purge quantity dot value if it is a purge quantity value if greater than zero at that particular time it have to show red color in the report if it is a purge quantity dot value is less than zero you have to show blue in color okay let's see how this is going to work out and let's see how it is i mean we are able to see in the front end okay let uh, let just click, click on ok now so see here in the fill color uh, before it i mean it is able to i mean we are able to see tomato color right but now we are able to see expression because we wrote some expression here 
so now click on ok so after this after clicking on ok just save it save build and deploy the report okay build it so let's wait for a couple of minutes after build we'll just deploy it okay So build completed now we have to deploy it see we have to go to the solution explorer report deploy reports okay click on deploy reports so after deploying the report you can run the report by like uh, we will be able to see the report okay let's wait for a couple of minutes so that uh, deploy deploy is started like deploy reports is started just wait So, uh, yeah, it is taking more time. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. So uh, deploy reports is completed. So now we'll just uh, run run the report. Okay. So let's see. So I think the report is opening. Uh, let's wait. Oh, sorry. I just uh, I have forgot that I have gave it to a query. Uh, let me just uh, check. I have to give uh, give it to a output menu item. Okay. So right click set as a startup object. So run it now. Okay, that is going to open. So this is a report that uh, this is a, actually a contract class. I, I'm not sure like whether you people are, I mean, few, few might know about this or few might not know about this. So this is a contract class where we can give some parameters. Okay, click on okay. So I have selected this particular purchase or order number. You can select uh, like whatever, uh, I mean, if you want. 
and it's loading here so the report is loading we have to wait So let's see how this background colors I mean I'll look like so when it is a greater than zero it should uh, you'll be able to see a red in color if it is uh, not greater than zero it will be in a uh, blue in color right so in this way that you can change your background color because 10 10 3 everything is a greater than zero that is the reason you are able to see in perch quantity okay. So if it is less than zero you will be able to see blue in color the background and all okay in this way that you can change the background color of the report okay i mean this is only for field i have changed that's it guys thank you so much